Talladega, one of the biggest and baddest tracks around. Known for its high bankings, fierce battles, and close finishes. But you know one thing everyone's waiting for. The big one. Uh -oh. It's anyone's race to win on this super speedway. It's Dega for the eNASCAR Pro Invitational iRacing Series on FS1. And welcome to Talladega and the Geico 70 iRacing Invitational, the virtual Talladega Super Speedway. We'll be going to the real thing Sunday on Fox, but tonight, America's best are lined up, they've qualified, and they are ready to entertain you at Talladega. So it's time to go trackside for tonight. Mike, 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 Mike. Larry? You have been my friend and my mentor for 21 years, but I've got this because these are my people. Now to give the command, the 2020 National College Football Champions, the University of Alabama, the 2020 Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith, roll tide. I'm getting ready for the NFL draft. Alabama, you always have a spot in my heart. Roll tide. But in the meantime, drivers, start your engines. Crank them up, Hank, crank them up. Slide it off. I don't know about it. You can start it up when you're ready. And here is the lineup for tonight's Geico 70. And this is the result of one lap qualifying. James Davison on the front row with Anthony Alfredo. Garrett Smithley with Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch with Timmy Hill. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Michael McDowell. Hey, Kevin Harvick up there in the fifth row. With Matt DiBenedetto. And Kyle Larson, Brad Kozlowski, Chris Buescher, and Bubba Wallace, Austin Dillon, Corey LaJoy, Martin Truex, and Joey Gase. Well, I see a lot of drivers coming to the front. Look, here's one of them. William Byron, we all know how good he is at iRacing. Eric Almirola, Jesse Uwuji uh, won the fan vote uh, to get into this event. Man, how bad did I qualify well, here? Uh, we're Joe. getting there, Holy Joe. Keep, yeah, not as Jeez. bad as Boyer. Don't Still worry. For Boyer. 30, <laughs> Boyer, 34. As long as I beat him, I'm good. <laughs> I had one. I think I made one lap of practice. So Josh Balicki and who? Oh, oh, and Ryan Blaney. I don't Eric even think Jones, you. Jones, Ross Chastain. <laughs> and look at hey, 39th. By, uh, by the way, the favorite at the very back, Keelan Harvick, guys, uh, he decided to give you all a head start. He didn't qualify. He elected. Not to qualify. That's how bad. But he's qualified, trouble, Joey. Oh, he's you know you're in trouble when somebody lays up for qualifying. He's, he's it's like going a for the lap. He's oh, going for the no. added bonus to start last and, and win. It's an extra day off of school or something. He wants to avoid the big one. <laughs> Larry, what are smart. we looking at here tonight? Well, you know what they say about it, Mike. It's big, it's bad, and it's bold down there at Talladega. So let's take a look at our track description. 2.66 mile trioval. The banking is 33 degrees. You look at the trioval banking, it's somewhere around 16 to 17 degrees. And as Jeff alluded to earlier, the winner from last year was Alex Bowman. Now let's take a look at our race analysis. 70 laps, 186 miles. Pit road speed, very important, 55 miles per hour. The fuel window, 34 to 38 laps. Clint, we've got to make at least one stop. Two resets, no out of bounds, and a fixed setup in all these cars, Mike, which kind of evaluates our racing experience. I'm in big trouble, guys. I just looked over my shoulder to see where Jeff was, <laughs> and I hit the wall. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. Joey, you're in good shape. There's some payback from last year, so I'm going to get it. I'm really going to the give it all already. to him from right here. All right, <laughs> so the field includes all of the NASCAR charter team drivers uh, participate, plus the fan vote winner, uh, Jesse Iwuji in this case, and three Fox invitees, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Clint Boyer, and Keelan Harvick. That's your field. 40 cars. Coming to green for 70 laps, uh, no stages, just 70 laps straight up. 
Yeah, 70 laps Washington straight up just tr trying to. It's just like the real world, Mike. You have to try to stay out of trouble, and it's so easy to say and so hard to do. Pace cars in, and they approach. Barney Five Jr. Jr., our flagman. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the third, but nobody calls him that. Hey, Jeff, what was you? Re what, second? <laughs> Are second. we going to do this again, Boyer? You don't know what gear you're going to restart? Boyer, yes. do you know what track you were at? I am trying to lay the footwork of expectations for the old, I don't even know what number I am now, a 79 ball. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, I Joe, think that, what are you doing out there by yourself? Hey, all I was thinking about the, the laying oh, back call. Oh, you cut off, just, man. Well, you, I, I get a little bit of a push One there. thing Who's you guys better do is get in line because hey. they're all lined up ahead of you. Hey, Jeff, he just cut somebody off, blocked him. You never see <laughs> You believe that? <laughs> Where's your spotter? I would Joey. never do that. I would never do that. That's oh. my excuse tonight. I don't have a spotter. I don't know if my excuse is Sunday yet, but this one's going to be I don't have a spotter. Timmy Hill <laughs> jumped out, and he's going to pay the price. Boy, a big uh, price he is, here, Mike. He is on the backup plan here. Well, he's Luckily, uh, there was a, a gap of the opening right there all the way back to Kevin Harvick. He was able to slide into, but I'm not sure. I think uh, there was a little contact, uh, and, and it sent him sideways up the racetrack. So he was just trying to avoid a wreck, and it, and it got him out of the draft. Timmy Hill has been a winner in iRacing. That's uh, uh, due to a rule that was added after Bristol. Past iRacing winners get to iRace. So Timmy's in the field. As he should be. Yep. We love we love having him in these races. He's so competitive. Tenny Hamlin peeked out there. Oh, Austin Nothing Dillon there. taking a peek. No, no help. Nobody's coming with you, Austin. That oh, looks boy. lonely out there, boys. Should hey. I try him? Yeah, how's it going back there, guys? Uh, well, I, I'm pretty surprised it's single file. I was like, maybe I should lay back because they're probably going to crash, and I'm already starting 30th. And then they all went single file. I'm like, I better go. I'm going to lose this draft. So uh, me and Newman are, are doing it right now. We're all right. We're, we're okay. keeping in touch. Pass six more cars and you'll be on the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Elon's settling is. in. Look at that. He's so focused. My car's dragging. Look at him. Oh, I got to look. Watch what I'm doing. That is awesome. <laughs> Clint, you're 34th. There's no way you can screw up. You can only get better. <laughs> it can't get much worse. And that is Keelan right behind you. I feel like I got. It is? Yes. Well, tell him, Keelan, can you hear me? Go. <laughs> Come on. The hand signal's working this deal. So I don't remember last year, guys, them getting single files so quick nope. and early on the first right. lap. So Keelan is in the 62. Oh, somebody hit the wall. Oh, big trouble. Put it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you're calling tell, the Tell me you'll be there in a second, Clint. I think you're still You great. better still stay in the gas. Keep your foot in it. <laughs> Was that Suarez? Suarez, 99 oh, yes. ball. He's in the fence. Suarez oh, oh, here we go. Oh, what's happening? Up there? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see around these cars. I'm, you can't see anything. Real. No. I, I'm laughing at you, Can boy, we see what Clint's tell, seeing? Because he's seeing a different race what's going on. than we are. <laughs> Where are you at? Where are you at, Joey? Uh, I don't even know what place. How do you know what place you're in here? Man, that uh, you ask us. Let me line. figure that out. Yeah, right. hey, what place am I? 25th, <laughs> Joey, 25th. Oh, I'm up five spots. Yeah. Riding with Denny Hamlin. Come on, Key. I need a push. Oh, That's Anthony Alfredo just ahead of Hamlin. Oh, boy, pretty, Denny, pretty, Denny looks like he's having fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's all pretty it's calm and cool up Denny. front. You guys, they're, they're all uh, very content with being where they are in the top ten. Oh, Nobody's stepping out of line. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Well, at, oh. the, at this pace, Mike, Davison's going to lead a lot of laps here today. I believe oh. he's, uh, he's just eclipsed his record high number of laps led uh, in forever in the Cup Series. So, yeah, Is that so, right, Russell? <laughs> Russell's laughing too hard. He can't answer me. Newman, there, there's your gap right there with, with, with Ryan Newman. I don't know if he's all the way at the tail right now. No, he's oh, 29th. 29th. Yeah, he's but, wearing that gum out. That was something <laughs> I always did. Did you chew gum when you raced? Never. I did. Help me think. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? <laughs> Ran out of gum sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Newman is in 29th, but he's built a big gap. I don't know if it's just those cars getting single file and got away from him, or no, he's playing this strategy. Speed. His car's off speed, Jeff. 50-55 was his last lap. Alex Bowman right in front of him at 49-27, and the leader at 49-50. Hey, there's the Fox Nation car. 
uh, Corey LaJoy. And there is the Fox Nation car. See, he, he's chewing gum. Come on, Corey. He's at Spire yeah. Motorsports. You got to make uh, that Fox Nation car look good. Hey, he led some laps last year. Was very competitive right towards the very end. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that huge run. Side draft there off uh, Austin Dillon. All he needs is a little now, bit of help. And there it is. The Here comes help. Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill. That's the right guy to have. So listen, one thing I learned again, I was doing this broadcast just like last year. Larry, you forgot to tell me temperatures are a thing. I just got hot and reminded I it all came back to you. Remember oh, that's that right. You John? blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you warning up? light come on? Did the warning light come on? Yeah. All right, well, well, you got yeah. To stick yeah. that nose out and get some clean air yeah. in that grill. Larry, you have to understand when you're clean and there's a red light flashing at you, it's not really something that that you know, get your attention. No, it's the cops. <laughs> they, do, they call it an idiot light, right? <laughs> That's right, Joey, they do. I thought so. Liam Byron okay, pokes out, and he's got Austin Dillon with him. Let's see if they can get to the front. And that's uh, Jesse Iwuji. Going the wrong direction. Who we've been calling Daniel Suarez. Yeah, no, remember yeah, Suarez? Oh, oh we got, Iwuji's Newman in the wall. not care for that. He Larry. and Newman got together, Ryan but no just caution. The, Ryan just put the whole U.S. Navy in the wall. Yeah, that's not good. That was not a good idea. <laughs> All right, so if you're looking for Daniel Suarez, he's the 97. And the reason is they're doing a Red Farmer tribute oh, to uh, Red's long Lewis Ford that he raced as number 97 Love at that. Talladega. Love that. Have they found that thing in the trees yet? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get over there and see him. What a just destruction over there total devastation um, just a complete legend and to see all his stuff tore up the way it was is heartbreaking you know so guys uh, lieutenant commander iwuji and he is uh i racing at the u.s naval academy tonight man and clearly he has some damage so he's, oh, they're he's wrecking really, up here yeah i was gonna oh, say if really there's wrecking. a wreck he's he's gonna have to come in and, and fix that damage. But I just was about to say, Mike, that they were too wide, starting to get a run on the leaders. You see the three of Austin Dillon. Oh, he's coming after Kevin oh, Harvick. Oh, and got him. That might, seal the, that might seal the deal for Keelan not going to school on Monday. <laughs> I got me a couple cars right there. So, uh, uh, Clint, who was involved in that? A couple of them that I'm uh, now ahead of. I liked it. Oh, no, no. I got a few no, no. here. I'm sorry. I'm asking TV Clint. Who was involved? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll We're going to find out right here. Yeah, here we go. And, and this is what I was talking about. They were too wide. You had 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. getting a big run. Oh, oh it looks Austin, like the three Dylan. got to the outside of the 24 yep, of William Byron, and then they made contact. Turned Byron into the wall. And, and, and somehow. And into Harvick. Yeah, somehow Harvick gets involved. And now watch the three of Austin oh, Dillon uh, center punches. Kevin oh, Harvick back. sends him on that was the pit impolite. road. Guys, these things are so, Joey, and, and alluded to this a little bit. Help me out here. They're so light on their feet. Like as soon as a car gets around you, just like in real life, Jeff, they start to get around to the back of your car, really pulls you around. They're racing hard at Talladega tonight for you on FS1. Welcome back to the Geico 70. It's the iRacing Invitational Series at Virtual Talladega Super Speedway. And you are in studio with racers Joey Logano and Clint Boyer. I'm Mike Joy with Jeff Gordon. Larry McReynolds is locked in his soundproof room uh, over across the hall. Stat Boy Russell is with us, I'll tell you. Here we go, We're along with Timmy Hill. Yeah, we just saw the three of Austin Dillon and, and William Byron. You saw that William Byron went up to try to uh, go to that outside lane, and the three of Austin Dillon got to his quarter panel right at that same moment. They made contact. And again, now you're going to ride with Austin Dillon. Yeah, so you see the three goes to the outside, then William. I don't Maybe it hooked William. It's hard to say. I know uh, Clint and Joey have been talking about how light that back end is when a car gets around it. So. That could have had something to do with it also, but brings out the caution, fix some some cars, and Clint couldn't find his pit stall. Joey, he's got like, you know, helpers and, and, and like a whole team over here. What about you? You look like you're just all by yourself. I'm just cruising over here. I went with the uh, when in doubt, stay out theory right here. Yeah. I saw the leader stay out and I, my car wasn't crashed. And I said, oh, that's a good reason to stay out here. So <laughs> that's what I know. 
Well, Larry, help Joey a little. When does he need to pit? I, I got your back, but, Mike, let me correct you. You said in my soundproof room when you're Clint's crew chief, it's a padded room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Keelan, this is Jeff and Mike uh, at the Fox Studios. Can you hear us? I can't pass him. Uh, we can't hear him. I can't hear him. I think I th well, that's we'll okay. Well, have we'll a good race. Yeah, have a great race. You're doing awesome, man. Car looks good. Go past dad. I, we, we want you off of school. <laughs> so dad was involved in that caution, but is 26th. Keelan is 34th. James Davison led the first 18 laps of iRacing at Bristol, and now he's been out in front for the first uh, first 11 circuits here. All right, so Mike, the last time they took the green, they all got single file right away. I mean, almost look orchestrated, uh, uh, you know, how quickly that happened. Let's see what happens on this restart. All right, Garrett Smithley laying back a bit. He may get a push from Kyle Busch. James Davison with Denny Hamlin on the inside. And Barney waves the green. We're back to racing. Well, clearly, Davison Smithley had a little bit of a plan, like we see. Sometimes among teammates where uh, they timed it perfectly to get one, two. Benedetto still working that outside lane. Got a helper in Dale Earnhardt Jr. Corey LaJoy coming up uh, on the out. Nope, drops in line inside. Oh, Jr. found a very small hole to dive into. Oh, he's going to go below. Now, Larry, I saw you say there's no out of bounds, so we can go below that yellow line all we want, correct? Well, there's no out of bounds, but it is a race director discretion if you do too far out of bounds, which I, I think I remember you doing that one time at Talladega. In fact, you came out with a gas grill on your hood <laughs> when you came back into one and two. Yeah, that'd be okay. Regan Smith on line hey, two. Hey, it worked. Yep. <laughs> Not for everybody. Chase Briscoe, 28th. What is the deal with the single file yeah. line deal here? I, I, I thought they're going to be two, three wide and all this. We're, we're single file. Check this setup out for Chase Briscoe. He's got the, the virtual goggles on. Guys, I got William Byron right in front of me. I'm just going to glue yep. it to his bumper. I was going to say, follow no, him. I'm not going to do a thing. I'm just going to follow him. The cool thing is you definitely can get big runs. You, you saw right there the 14. Uh, really got a, a huge run on Kevin Harvick uh, and, and Chase Briscoe, but he decided not to make that happen. So I see a lot of guys playing around with the air, with the draft, trying to, to see when they can make their move and how far the momentum will carry them. Chris Buescher, 21st. Uh, got Joey just ahead. Got some Stuart Haas teammates there just behind Chris Buescher. Cole Custer, Chase Briscoe, Kevin Harvick. See Ross Chastain drops down in that small gap that he had back to Chris Buescher. There's Jesse Awuji. He has uh, Keelan Harvick just ahead and Martin Truex just behind him. Here, lift out of the throttle just a little bit. How about Bubba? Bubba's got a new look going on. <laughs> All the sponsors covered. <laughs> I remember when you tried that, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I was like 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Suarez, quit getting in front of me. Where are you at now, Clint? Uh, racing Suarez for dead last. <laughs> no, you're, you're 35th. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you got a few more to go to get dead last. Actually, that's uh, Jesse Wuji in the 99. Yeah, re yeah, remember that uh, Suarez is in the 97, Clint. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no he's Suarez, right. Yeah, I that's him in front of you. Yeah, ahead. that's Suarez. Yeah, I can't see his number. You got to be inside him to see his number. <laughs> I didn't see his back glass. <laughs> Very embarrassing performance so far, but I think my plan, the old Dale Jarrett plan, right? Hey, man, take whatever, you know, when you qualify in the back, if you can't drive straight to the yeah. front, then you might as well stay back there because we know that big oh. one is coming. It, it, right yeah. here, oh, too. Oh. Uh, I see some cars have to, little I'm one. going through the middle. Here I come. <laughs> now, see, Mike, this is the difference between virtual and real life. When a car goes sliding or, or, or shoots left onto the apron, you lift. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's Jesse on the outside. And a lot of damage to the back of that 
Yeah, that's a 14. 14. Chase Briscoe. Yeah. Our <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. By the way, our scoring monitor. <laughs> don't pay no attention to our scoring. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Clint Boyer's going around. No. <laughs> oh, no. Man, if you end up in Dude, the fence, go, hanging go, go. in the Zach. fence, Clint, go, go, I am going to stand green. up out of yeah, my chair. No, no caution, Clint. We got to get going, buddy. We'll cause one. <laughs> 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 every week these days. Yeah. Man, what? Now I, no, I am in trouble. Uh -oh. Oh, you're, you're in trouble. Right, Justin Haley way up in the outside. Off Chase Elliott trying to get a run. It won't and turn. bring a bunch of them with him. Uh, that would Ross be Jeff one Teams reset there. coming your way. Austin uh, Dillon. I think. It won't turn. That's right. Each driver gets two oh, resets. Oh, caution's and out. The caution, caution is now out. The Clint Aren't Boyer you? caution just came out. <laughs> there was one car behind me. <laughs> so but 17 that one car was, laps complete. Was more than you could handle. <laughs> <laughs> God oh, he, he, he that got you. That feel good to you, Jeff? Uh, <laughs> it did. Yes. did you see that? You set that? me up. Thank you. That, that is Daniel Suarez. Suarez. You should have kept oh, him in front of you. <laughs> he is going to get a lash. <laughs> I mean, he tried to square up with you. I'm a little I surprised it turned you. the pit. I sense repercussions after this break. Yeah, that's what happened. Second caution of the day. Oh, I know what that feels like. <laughs> I know what that feels like. It's so frustrating. That was uh, Daniel Suarez into Clint Boyer. This year, NASCAR Foundation celebrates 15 years of giving. Nearly $40 million has impacted more than 1.4 million children. To learn more, and how you can get involved, visit nascarfoundation.org. So as far as we know, Clint is the only driver who's used one of his two resets. Yeah, way to go, boy. You're 15 laps in. You already used one of your two resets. There ain't nothing I can't do with race car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this other bad news, but I think uh, you got a lap to, to gain to get back on the yeah, lead lap. Yeah, the thing that stinks, you know, if you're, if you're going to wreck, you want to make an imp. I want a big wreck. I was going to say, yeah, that's not going to make yeah. the highlight reel. I want to <laughs> flip in 17 times. <laughs> just we'll end, in, end up in the fence. Out. I tell you what, got the old list out, and Suarez is in trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's not the Christmas right. list. Uh, let's check in with Corey LaJoy, who's uh, worked his way up to 10th spot. Hey, good run so far. Okay. Well, hey, Corey, can you hear us? Okay, that's well, right. His dad will text us. <laughs> <laughs> Still doing good, going in the right direction. Yep, doing fine. He'll restart alongside Dale Jr. So it's Davison and Smithley on the front row, Hamlin and Kyle Busch, McDowell and Larson, Keslowski and Bubba Wallace, then Earnhardt and LaJoy. That's your top ten. Gase, Haley, Alfredo, Chastain and McLeod, your top 15. Then Dylan Balicki, Keelan Harvick, Quinn Hauf and William Byron, your top 20. Bell, Busher, Reddick, DiBenedetto and Bowman, 25th. Jones, Custer, Blaney, Iwuji and Logano, 30th. Kevin Harvick, Briscoe, Timmy Hill, Truex and Suarez, 35th. Then Elliot Newman Stenhouse and Clint Boyer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about it, guys. I got some fuel in this thing. I'm banking on a few cautions, keeping it one piece. I'm going to yeah. get him on the strategy, maybe. I like I what know. you got going on there, Logano. Looks I don't know. Looking no, good. I don't know. Caution. I had a slow pit stop. I know that. I, I, I think it was all in the driver getting it out of the box, though. I couldn't find the box, kind of like Clint. Yeah, we've got about 15 drivers that's not made a trip to pit road yet, including like the top 11 or 12. So we know they're going to have to stop at least once. Maybe right. they know We're going to ride with uh, Alfredo and Haley on this restart and here we go. Here we go, 11th and 13th, right now 12th with Haley and Alfredo. Well, 
that 28 car for Joey Gase. That he's going to drive a Hates Davey me. Allison tribute at Talladega this weekend instead of his usual 53. Larry, that 28 looks good out there. Yeah, it does, Mike. That's the paint scheme that we ran in the early 90s. We actually won Talladega 92, but what it's really encouraging people to do, Mike, is become an organ donor. Davey was an organ donor. Joey Gase's mom was an organ donor. That's what this whole tribute is all about this weekend. That's awesome. Great looking paint scheme for a great cause. As you see there, you saw Anthony Alfredo get a huge run, get to the rear bumper. I believe of uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. They both jumped to the outside. Thought they were gonna go up there and challenge these leaders, but they're actually falling back right here. And inside line moving up against them. Kind of reminds me of Talladega of the old, where you know you'd get lined up and you'd hope somebody would try to make a move because they felt like they had enough momentum to make a pass, and then you just fill that gap, move one spot at a time, and, and just be real patient. Boy, some of the, what we call the usual suspects, like uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Timmy Hill and William Byron, still back in the second half of this field. Yeah, I mean, to me, the guys that do a lot of eye racing. Well, first of all, this thing's long from over, so let's see where they're at True. at the end. But they seem to really shine on these shorter tracks, you know, on the, on the tracks where, uh, and look at this, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to give a little push to Keelan Harvick. I love it. But, um, you know, I, I, I just don't know if there's a, as much of an advantage of having a lot of laps. Of course, Clint might disagree <laughs> uh, when we get to Talladega Ooh, versus a, one of those shorter tracks like we just had the dirt track at Bristol. Keelan's holding a pretty wheel there. Yeah. I tell you what, he wins posture for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Bell in the 20. Originally, we thought he might not be able to race tonight because of the Goodyear tire test in Nashville at the Super Speedway, but uh, today's runs there were canceled, so he was able to make it back in time to participate tonight. Currently 16th. Yeah, and quite an eye racer too. We've actually seen eye racing sponsor some of his race cars over the years when he's doing some dirt racing. So you know he's he's got plenty of laps and, and experience at this type of racing and, and uh, does quite well. So glad yeah. to have him in the field. So James Davidson has led every lap. Here's the oddball thing. I don't think he's in Sunday's race. Initially they named Jennifer Jo Cobb to uh, drive this race, but NASCAR uh, declined to approve her for the Cup Series. So the replacement uh, is J.J. Yaley, I believe. Well, they might be rethinking it if, if, if this. Uh, there you go. If this carries over at all, he's certainly doing an awesome job here today in this particular race. And Garrett Smithley is one of those young fellows just doesn't get enough credit. Uh, you know, runs well for a team that uh, What's Rick Ware call his team? The, the biggest little team in racing. <laughs> um, trying to do everything they can with limited sponsorship and resources. And uh, this young fellow's got a good bit of talent, both on track and in iRacing. Yeah, no, I agree. And then, and then if you compare that to the powerhouse of Joe Gibbs Racing right behind him, uh, couldn't be on polar opposites. Right. Yeah, his track position's a pretty big deal, I've come to figure out. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't jump out of line, did you, Joey? I, I you know, I got bored. And I'm like <laughs> riding in line here. I'm like, this is getting old. I got to try something. And it's me and Chase Briscoe back here. I think we're the only two uh, maybe not as smart ones out here saying, let's just keep making runs. And uh, we make a run, and then we go back to the back again. I don't know. It's more entertaining that way. Hey, here goes Timmy Hill. I'll go with Timmy Hill. Yeah, he's well, good at this well, stuff. And it's it, it pulls you in because you can see where you get a big draft. You you get these big runs, and so when you get that big of a run, you want to do something with it. So I understand why it's pulling you guys out of line. But boy, everybody that does that, it takes it takes about five or six cars on that outside lane. Which, by the way, isn't that much different than real life, Mike. I mean, what we're going to oh. see this weekend in Talladega, you've got to have a group of cars, just like we saw in Daytona, if you're going to make any uh, any advancement on that that lane that's all lined up. Well, I'm to the point it doesn't matter anymore. I can go for it. I got nothing to lose. There's no one behind me. <laughs> me and Truex back here. It's That's an it. easy decision. Well, oh, hey, you man, might just, go for it. Just avoid the big one now. You got somebody behind you. 
<laughs> Are you back there? <laughs> yeah, he's a lap down, but he's uh, back I didn't even there. see in the mirror. Dude, did you lose the draft? You're going to need to blimp to see me. <laughs> <laughs> How did you lose the draft and the lap? Well, I backed off. I was, I'm going for the concern. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, Joey. Oh, oh, I was going to say, put oh, it out. Boy, put it out. Boy. Joey, don't let me down. Wreck them all. I'm still going. I kept momentum. This this might be your opportunity. There's no caution here shot. yet, but man, they're trying hard. Watch uh -oh. out. Yeah, watch out for the yeah. 28. Something happened to Joey Gase. That car is off pace. I got momentum. Yes, you do. There's Logano there on the go. outside. Oh. <laughs> Briscoe almost got to Man, him. Eric guys, Jones they are there. trying hard to wreck in the back. And Kevin Harvick. You're not safe back there, Joey, by the nope. way. Nope, not safe at all, but uh, here we go. I don't know. I'm still one piece, baby. I thought by now I'd use both my repairs, so well, it's going better than expected. Well, unfortunately, Joey Gase has a lot of damage, so he's going to ride around here at a slow pace or get to pit road. Where's Joey oh. Gase? Is he in front of me? No, I think he's behind you now. Okay, that's yeah, good to know. Only had three cautions in this race last year. We've had two so far. Top of your screen, you'll see the replay of whatever it was we just missed. Oh, oh that. Yeah, he and Ross Chastain. They tried to change. Oh, that got Keelan. Yeah. No. That was the ice cream run. Let's see. Keelan, he, he gets to pit road. Does he keep going or does he end up stopping? Well, I think he's okay. He's still ahead of me. <laughs> Things are packing up here at the front. And here's Keelan's reaction. Nice recovery, yeah. look at that. Never quit driving, did he? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did he do the reset? Yeah, I think he pushed the reset. I think that's On what the, the lip said was reset, reset. Yep. Uh, he didn't reset, his car still tore up. Oh. I just went by him. <laughs> See you, Keelan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Sucker. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Gonna, hey, by the way, Clint, that's going to win you a lot of fans. Yeah, real nice. Picking on an eight-year-old. Yeah. Uh -huh. no I'm beating somebody. I don't care if they're eight. Oh, goodness. <laughs> goodness has nothing to do with it. Oh, Alex. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's still on the lead lap. You're still one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Larry. <laughs> See here, Alex Bowman, most recent winner in the Cup Series, coming off that win at Richmond. Can he pull off a win here in the closing laps like he did last week? And last year in this iRace at Talladega. Yeah, it was a, oh man, wild last lap, four wide. Larry, are those leaders going to have to pit here soon? We're yeah, going to be in really good shape. I was just looking at that, and I think James Davidson, you, you use a lot more fuel out there leading the pack. It's no different than what you guys will experience on Sunday. So I'm going to say, Joy, the top eight or nine, ten that's not pitted yet, probably within the next eight to nine laps. We have run seven caution laps, so they were able to save a little bit of fuel, but I'd say in the next eight or nine laps. Okay, well, we got to keep it green. That's my play right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. That's my play. That, that, Are you part throttling a little bit for me, though? I am. Oh, okay, yeah, you, you got to save bit. me some fuel here. A lot. Uh, no, you got to save me a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel. <laughs> See, that's what's always hard. And the crew chief says a lot. Well, how much is a lot? Is that a lap? Is that like five laps? I just, I'm laughing right now that you know. actually think this thing's going to go green all the way to the end for that fuel mileage well, play. I need, well, I need some <laughs> caution laps to make it. I'm not going to make it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. some caution. It makes, but I need it to makes for really good pit. TV. Yeah. Really good TV. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Larry. I, I don't know what I was thinking. How did I miss that storyline? Oh, I think I, oh. No. Uh -oh. no, boy, you're not again. I think I just passed somebody. Oh. <laughs> I thought you wrecked all by yourself. Or was they, that gas? They were pitting, but I got them. Hey, how about B.J. McLeod in ninth? Now, there's a fellow that we don't get to talk about much on Sunday. Uh, just always has a, a beautifully turned out car, has some really cool paint schemes and sponsors, and there he is up in the top ten in ninth place. Does a lot in our sport, doesn't he, Mike? Busy guy, yeah. He kind of does it yeah. all, right? Owner, driver. Yeah. Hey, development that I'm seeing that you guys, I mean, come on, booth guys. What? Where, Larry, that was Davidson and Garrett Smithley that pitted. Denny Hamlin, I think. 
Did they pit? No. No. They did not. Oh. You're starting I... to see things <laughs> out there on the track. <laughs> Are you okay? Can we get somebody yeah, to come what. check on you? Drive and, you drive and we'll do TV. <laughs> 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 yes, they are still I don't still know leading, but there it. might be some some stops coming up. We're here. I, I would say they're going to be coming here pretty quick, pretty quick, especially the top eight or nine. I can't even see the lead pack here. I'm, I'm kind of I think I'm in pack two. Am I in the second pack here? Is that where I'm at? Larry McReynolds and I were having this discussion before tonight's broadcast about whether we would see a green flag stop. I was like, there's no way we're going to see a green Maybe. flag stop. But he, you know, he pointed out, hey, you know what? In in the uh, in the iRacing League that he's watched to kind of help prepare for this race, those guys do make a lot of green flag stops. Well, so we might so see team one. orders, like manufacturers. What do you think here? So, Joey, the front pack is 14 cars, to answer your question. And you're in a pack from 15th on back that is eight to nine seconds off the lead. Oh, boy, that's not good. That's I'm not okay. Bad. I'm in a safer spot, maybe. Yeah, it's not bad. And Jeff, you know how tough pit road is getting under green in the real world. What I saw, it's even tougher in the virtual world. <laughs> I, I would not want to pit under green. How do you get all your splitter heights right, Larry? That's what I want to know from breaking on pit road. Fix setup, man. You got what you got. <laughs> man, I'm so far back. I'm going to have to start picking nose hairs to stay awake or something. <laughs> <laughs> I am way back. All right, Michael McDowell, your Daytona 500 winner, is in the top five. There's his yellow car in fifth. Brad Kozlowski right behind him. And Kyle Larson, Haley, McLeod, and Josh Balicki, the top ten. Hey, hey, Boyer, if you decide to quit on us, at least yeah. over your right shoulder, you got you got Casey that can fill in for you if you if you need. Oh yeah, <laughs> relief driver. <laughs> He's swap. the reason I'm in here. Without him, I'd have never got logged in. <laughs> uh, now, one thing that is different in our racing from unlike these guys can do on Sunday, these drivers can chat with each other about when they want to make this green flag pit stop. That's pretty cool. So uh, Josh Balicki in the top ten. A uh, young driver from Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And I'm told you got to get the falls in there. I got schooled on this because <laughs> Menominee Falls is right next to Milwaukee. If you go to Menominee, you're almost in Minnesota. It's way over on the other side of the state. So ah, don't forget, don't the, forget falls. the falls. His dad has a Shelby Mustang, a GT350. And uh, he wanted to see if he could talk his dad out of for the weekend for Sonoma to race with the historic Trans Am guys and double dip. Not Wouldn't let him? Well, no. The GT350 in that car. was not eligible for Trans Am. Ah, it was okay. a sports car. Yeah, did you sedan. know that? You didn't know that, Jeff? No. <laughs> no, I'm a Chevy guy. Come on. <laughs> Look Joey, at this. I'm telling you. Look at the steering wheel book he's got there. That looks like it came right out of his cup car. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like a GT350. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I finally found somebody. I think it's Keelan. I'm going to pass him again. <laughs> 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 now, hey, now this is when it gets real, Mike. When you when you start stretching your elbow and your wrist, getting ready for the green flag pit stop. Okay. I think he learned that from Rusty Wallace. <laughs> yeah, but Rusty snaps his yeah, wrist he when snaps he does it. it doesn't every he? time. <laughs> right. I just passed Keelan again. Ha! I love it. <laughs> <laughs> For some Sun reason, Howard's our still ahead of me. Yeah, I was going to say our timing and score is not showing them behind you. Um, and, but they are on the same lap now. After uh, Keelan had that incident. Yeah, and, and uh, Ross Chastain. And Keelan's he's obviously got damaged because he's running about oof, six seconds oh, yeah. or so off of uh, our leaders. Yeah, he's junk. He needs a caution bad. Guys, I can't imagine. That in the next lap or two, I have to believe this lead pack is going to be hitting pit road for a green flag stop. You know what's cool about this? I have a little estimated laps until I'm out of gas. Mine says I got 21 laps left right now. Well, that's not I good, got Joey, gas, because we've got uh, 32 laps to go. <laughs> <laughs> I need a caution. A few of them. <laughs> now, now we just need to know what one of these guys that haven't pitted yet what their gas gauge is saying. Well, you know, Jeff, how much the gas mileage will fluctuate on Sunday leading versus in the pack. I mean, you, it can be a, a mile or two a gallon more in the pack. Well, right, obviously, Anthony Alfredo. I think that's, yeah, that's Alfredo. And <laughs> Keelan Harvick is also in. Apparently got tired of racing Boyer. 
<laughs> wanted a fuel stop. Yeah, so I'm anxious to see. I just, I think that Alfredo might have done the right thing, coming by himself, being, oh, uh, no, you know, just staying out of trouble. I know you want the draft, but I'm curious to see. Yeah, but if you How go wild back. this gets getting on the pit road. But if you go it, back out by yourself. Oh, no, you don't. You, you're you hoping for a caution. Here come, boys. Oh, Davison. Feeding time. Whoa. Lock him up. That's, that might be a speeding penalty. Hey, he literally was 10 feet from going another lap down, and they pitted. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> come well, on, Keelan, get out. I here. mean, it, it, was, it was pretty wild, but they all made it, yep. so. So that leaves Dale Earnhardt out on the track as the leader. Cole Custer and Joey, your third. Wait, go, Joey. Good. Well, this is all part of the plan, guys, here. Right? This, is, this is part <laughs> of the plan. Now, now Joey, now you got a decision to make, though. Do these guys have the same amount of fuel as you do if they come to pit uh, road well, or you come to pit Dale road? Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's one of the ones that he still has not pitted in that 88 car. He's still got to come to pit decisions, road. Decisions, Joey. Think about well, it. Well, here's, here's what I'm thinking about right now. So if those guys pit and they come out, and we don't lap them and the caution comes out they're all going to be in front of me because i still have to pit one more right, time right so you might so want to keep an eye on the screen whoa, whoa, whoa. oh boy we about watered it up yeah that was close. okay i don't know what cust what, what happened with custer he just wasn't expecting junior to come maybe but that was almost big how's my nose i've already got a little damage there everything okay how did you guys not wreck is what I want to know. Talent. No <laughs> oh. <laughs> Modesty. So, so listen, I don't know. Larry, tell us, how about the the lead, uh, the lap that these guys had pitted? Are they all good? Are they, they, they have some extra fuel? They can go here a while? No, they can go a while. They can probably run about, so they've run about 23 laps. They can run a, probably another 15 to 16 laps. Okay. But it's going to be come up short to make it to the end. So Timmy Hill now second, Cole Custer, Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, last year's winner. As Dale Jr. exits. Oh, he pitted by himself. himself. Oh, they all pitted by oh, they all pitted, oh, Joey. No. <laughs> no, you got help. That's me and Blaney. All right, buddy. You got a couple more back there, but you don't have much help. Can, can I, you I don't text like Blaney real quick? Here. Tell him to come with you. Can someone else text him? <laughs> I can't do more than one thing here right now. So I'm in trouble because if I stay, because I didn't lap those guys, I got to come in and do like a few only or a two tire. Oh, Blaney says he's pitting. He says pitting this time. All right, you need to come with him then. I need to come for two tires though. How do I do that? <laughs> I need a helper. Any help? I Casey, need a helper over here. Where, Clint, where's Casey? No, no. Casey will help Joey. No, he's my guy. <laughs> you got How do I adjust how many tires I can take? That's Larry. Oh, oh no. I missed my pit and you were laughing. So your oh, keyboard no. doesn't have a button that says two tires? Casey, <laughs> Casey's okay, coming, coming to the in. rescue. Joey, I'm triple, coming, triple, triple A is right? on the way. Here he is. <laughs> I'm coming in. He's going to need a new pair of shoes running back and forth. Here we come. Us. All right, Eric Jones is pitting with you. On your yeah, left. Right? Oh my gosh, I came in really slow. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh wow. Blaney's almost Blaney trying to cause a cost. <laughs> what a. And Jones makes oh, the pass. You got on Chase Elliott joining Where's my box? Guys. Where's my box? There it is. Okay. Chase Elliott's right. in with you. Wow. Didn't set any land speed records on the old. Uh, and Austin entry. Dillon's the new leader with Jesse Iwuji, Kevin Harvick, and Martin Truex. I am in shock right now, Mike, that they just did a green flag pit stop and that Nobody we're wrecked. still under green yeah. oh no oh no deja vu all over again watch what just happened at the hamlin household no no don't do that <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're watching this, you're probably aware that the Cup Series heads to Talladega Super Speedway Sunday for the Geico 500. But race day coverage begins at 1230 Eastern on FS1, switches over to Fox an hour later, or watch it on the Fox Sports app. Talladega Sunday. We are under caution uh, with 24 laps to go for uh, some confusion out in turn three. Let's go to our roving reporter, Clint Boyer. Uh, Clint, what happened? Uh, man, I tell you, I think, you know, turn two. See anything out there? Uh, no, tire, nothing at all. I said turn two. You see anything out there? 
Oh, yeah, Tara, there's a jet engine sitting out here. Yeah, 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 you're right. Not saying that that's ever happened in NASCAR history, but maybe that just happened. I'm for sure getting fired. <laughs> you're either getting promoted or fired. Yeah, keep, One of the yeah, keep trying, but I doubt it. That it's beautiful. that button that we always long for in TV. It's like, just give me the caution button. Right. I got you. I'll do the right thing. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Well, now you've got no oh. excuses, Boyer, because the caution is out. You're back on the lead lap. I need Larry. Larry. All right. Crew chief, I got, I got you. seven laps of green. I'm a lap down. Do I take the wave around and think it's going to be an early caution, or should I just go ahead and pit and wait on the end and hope I get my lap back then? What do we do? Take it now. Get that lap back now, Clint. You think carnage is coming? Carnage is a coming. They're bunched back up. All right. I agree. Good job, Larry. I told you you're on the lead lap. I just didn't tell you you had to go <laughs> take the wave around. There's a. Jesse Awuji racing in Annapolis, Maryland. Jesse, can uh, do you copy us? You got a copy on us? Yeah, I copy you. You got me? Great. Yes, we do. How's <laughs> how's it going? It's going good, going good. I'm having a lot of fun. This is absolutely amazing. Such a blessing to be able to do this. And big thanks to the Navy. Big thanks to the Naval Academy. Big thanks to all my friends, family, and fans who, who gave me the opportunity to do this. Jesse, I got to say, you must have the coolest backdrop and, and place to do this. That's awesome. You're at the uh, Naval Academy. Tell us about this setup, where you're at right now, and, and how this all came about. Yeah, so I was in D.C. Uh, shooting a, a, a cool little video with uh, USAA, and uh, we were working on that all of a sudden. I heard, hey, I ended up winning the fan vote, and now i got to figure out a way to get a sim to me as soon as possible so I can race this race. So my agent, Matt Casto, worked really hard with a uh, um, – with a, a sim seats to get this together. They brought it here to the Naval Academy. Uh, the Naval Academy was nice enough to allow us to use Dahlgren Hall to make this happen. Now we're sitting here <laughs> getting ready to race. So, man, it's, uh, it, it's been such a whirlwind, but a super big, big, big blessing. So you have a full motion race rig there that, that actually moves your seat around as you're, go as you're on track? Yeah, it actually moves the seat around. I'm feeling all the bumps on this track. I didn't realize Talladega was this bumpy. I haven't ran Talladega since 2019 when I ran in the trucks there. But, uh, yeah, this place is pretty bumpy on this thing. Well, glad to have you with us and uh, glad you're having fun. Yeah, good luck. What a beautiful haul. Yeah, it's gorgeous I know setup. I'm supposed to be racing. <laughs> race me, look down and see that. I've got you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey, did you did you pit on me? I told you to stay out. I pitted again because there wasn't any cars that pitted. And what? I was already 30th. There wasn't many yeah, that pitted. There's so I just, 13 cars that stayed out. We could be in the top 15 see, right I didn't, now. I didn't know that. And what were you see, gaining? I, it said I was 30th. You don't need like, grip uh, or fuel. I, I wasn't sure. My deal said I only had 20 laps. I wasn't sure I put a full tank in or something ah, on the pit oh, stop. I wasn't okay. sure about if I did that right. So. so when Larry said take the wave around, what, what part of that just uh, just didn't register? Oh, I didn't need the wave around. No, I was Boyer, the lap. Boyer needed the wave around. Oh, did you take okay. it? Boyer, did you take the wave around? Well, I got to. All right, so I'm racing. Here's the deal. Casey <laughs> Kerman just told me. Here's the deal. I got to race Ross Chastain and Joey Gase for the lucky dog but Larry is it worth it man I I, I kind of think I'll we'll just lag back here and I don't know oh I'm, come on boy you're going racing man we, we this is 20, 21 lap lag go, back we got to do. go we got right. to go so Clint's Clint, a lap down in 38 Joey is on the lead lap in 32nd BJ McLeod in front of him Tyler Reddick behind all right there's Chastain. I've realized racing around Chastain he is running people's quarters pretty hard which makes this eye racing thing pretty, pretty realistic. Real. <laughs> Sounds like Richmond all over again, doesn't it? All right. It's definitely him driving. They don't have someone else in the seat. <laughs> James Davison and Brad Keselowski will restart on the front row. Justin Haley and Kyle Busch. Alfredo and Iwuji sixth. Smithley and McDowell. Larson and Bell are your top 10. 35 cars on the lead lap. 21 to go. Davison has just dominated this race. Mike, last year, actually, Brad Keselowski, one of our um, you know, um, drivers that, that led the most laps, but even that was like 11 laps. So uh, this is incredible what, what Davison's doing to uh, control this race from the front. Yeah, Jeff, the only laps he hadn't led was through that cycle of green flag pit stops. 
Well, I, I hate to say it, but some of the drivers lined up behind him, Larry, they, he might be a sitting duck <laughs> if we get this. Oh, they're if, wrecking. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, they're wrecking. Oh, one in the wall. And they have to put it out. out. Oh, Larson's involved. See De Benedetto spinning around like a top. Whew. Hey, check my damage. I, I got ran in from behind. Down through the grass. Oh, so you got run in from behind after coming to pit. <laughs> you told him, Larry. Maybe I would have been in the middle of that, though. I, I, my front end's good. I, I hit the brakes. The guy behind me didn't know. Whoever that was. Chemistry's everything in racing. You guys. <laughs> we don't have it. Not. We don't have got it. Got any. Nope. <laughs> So, Clint, if you'd waved around, and, and nope. maybe, are you in position to? Maybe? Apparently, he can't have any chemistry with me either, because he told me to pit, I pit, and I'm still a lap down, Larry. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a look at I, I what. I blame you for lagging back. <laughs> what may have happened here, we're watching. Uh, oh, oh, Corey he, he, gets into yeah, the left rear at 11. On, Corey. Start, oh, and, and Corey took a big hit. You think he's okay? <laughs> <laughs> emotional. This is an emotional game. Emotionally, okay. not really. <laughs> Emotionally, his, his ego's bruised right now. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, at this point, right, cautions breed cautions. So yes. now you got a bunch of cars taking a reset. Clint, you've already taken one. Oh, Corey's, oh, Corey's okay. okay. We can yep. confirm right. that. Yep. He took his but, headset but off. But yeah, I was going to say, off. he's definitely not happy because he pulled the headset off. Mm -hmm. Emotional. I told you. He's going to pit for a reset, it looks like. <laughs> but I'd I, say. But yeah. I just feel like with, you know, inside 20 to go, we're going to see some more of this action, and you're going to need that second reset. <laughs> I love Boy, how just did see, you see the Boba's body. Boop, and all of a sudden, it's brand new. We all wish we had that reset button in the real world. Matt Di Benedetto's view of what happened. Oh, and he's trying. He's in it. Oh, man, that's what a wreck looks like. <laughs> Take the big shunt. I think Byron was able to make it through there. I wanted two tires and two cans. So that's what I was looking for. Well, instead, you got somebody hit you right up the butt. <laughs> Welcome back to the Geico 70 iRacing Invitational, the virtual Talladega Speedway. Uh, you're riding with Tyler Reddick. There's a look at the damage on the back end of uh, Joey Logano's Mustang. And Heated discussion of whether or not Joey should have come down pit road, not come down pit road, whether he had enough fuel or not enough fuel. You see, Danny sort of was going to the middle there. And, and right at that same time, Corey LaJoy started to move up the racetrack and they make contact and this big wreck happens. And it looked like Corey moved up the racetrack more than, than Denny moved down. I don't know if he had help. No, he just, yeah, he just started to go. Both of them wanted to fill that gap that they saw that momentum coming at the same, at the right time or. Wow, there was a wild ride you saw Jesse Uji take uh, just before going to commercial. And then Corey became, uh, the pinball in the machine. So we're coming green this time. 17 to go. Davis and Keslowski, Bush, McDowell, Bell, Smithley, Haley Wallace, Alfredo Hill, the top 10. How about we do a crank it up on oh, the restart? Yeah.
17 to go at virtual Talladega. William Byron has worked his way up to seventh spot. Keep an eye on him. Uh, Garrett Smithley trading third with Bubba Wallace. Now fourth. Oh, it's heating up, Mike. You can <laughs> tell the action is starting to pick up. We're seeing more three wide, more bump drafting. It's time to go. Riding with Joey Logano. They we're definitely about to crash here. <laughs> yes. There's a hundred yes, percent chance are. Of, of crashing. This is not good. I feel like I need to get back down to the bottom. I don't know. I, I don't know how I got in this spot. I, I actually I know what did. Cole Custer came from four car lanes behind me and passed four tires below the double yellow line and no no penalties here. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Am I clear behind me? Am I down? Oh, I'm going to come down. There we go. <laughs> you are. I, thought, I thought I was, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> That's the no spotter thing. That's where you guys are supposed to help me. We were on the roof cam. We, we could see what was ahead of you. We couldn't see what was behind you. I like how you guys didn't answer. I did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I need a spotter now. The only thing I can't afford to do is hit oh, anybody. That that's, was close. That's well, you, what I need. Now you boy, be on it, Mike. Yeah, boy, you're still a lap down. We got to get you back on the lead lap. And I will, but I'm in a lucky dog position. Yeah. I just can't hit anybody. You yeah. tell me if they're wrecked. Well, they're working hard. They're working hard to try to create that caution for you. I mean, I you need you here. on it, Jeff. <laughs> Clint, you don't need to let that 28 car of Joey Gase in front of you because yeah, he's another car like that. I think he's, I, I don't, something happened to him, so I think I'm good. I just need to not wreck. <laughs> uh, I think it's you and the eight for the uh, lucky dog, perhaps. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How did Reddick just go a lap down in front of you? He did? Yeah. I believe so. Are you playing with me? Uh, no, he, he not if time is scoring is correct. Oh, no. And that's <laughs> a big if. Is he the lucky dog then? Currently. We think so. Well, that's a good tidbit information. <laughs> hey, you just drive, man. You go as nope, fast nope. as you can go. Nope. Reddick just completed 55. Um, Mike, I need. Which one is it? Yeah, he's 44 seconds Stay behind the leader. Stay in front of the yes. 28 car. You're Listen good. to Thank Larry you. Mack. Yeah. Listen <laughs> to Larry Mack. You didn't become America's crew chief for nothing. I got, I'm got. i listening. When Larry speaks, I listen. I got eight score monitors in here. <laughs> New better. Oh, oh look at job. Blaney going for a big run here. Got a Come push on. from Chris Busher. Don't let me down, Blaney. Wreck. Back at 13th position. That there on the outside, Haley, trying to make some heavy steam. Now, now we talked about some of the the oh, upgrades. Oh, oh the three big of Austin's wreck. around. Yet. I don't know if it's a big. Yeah, there's a caution. There yeah. you go, Boyer. Stay in the car, guys. I got it. I'll call it. <laughs> caution, by the way. <laughs> Austin Dillon brings out uh, what I have as the fifth caution of the race, with uh, now 13 to go. Ah, right, you're back in it, Boyer. Remember last year when uh, Denny Hamlin took all the remotes and hid them so that uh, his daughter couldn't shut off <laughs> his, his computer? Well, she's found the remotes. Welcome back to the Geico 70 iRacing Invitational at the virtual Talladega Super Speedway. We'll be at the real one on Sunday. 12 laps to go. Uh, Corey LaJoy having recovered from the incident at lap uh, 59 with Kyle Larson and Matt Benedetto, uh, right there in 26th and still 36 cars on the lead lap. Uh, Corey joins us from Spire Motorsports with uh, the real Fox Nation car in the background. Uh, so what happened back there and uh, other than that how's your race going. Well, the bottom lane checked up seems to be the preferred groove. So it was either running the back of the five or running to the side of the 11, and I did both. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately for those guys, it, uh, it ended, well, it took out one of our lives. We have one live left. So if we don't use it up too quick, we got 12 to go. But you just cannot get the top lane going. It's just bottom feeding. So hopefully we can get a, car, a couple cars up here that want to uh, make this top lane go. 
Corey. I go with you, Corey. I yeah, go. Yeah, you got you got Logano go. here in the studio. We got to get Boyer back on the lead lap. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's been a lap down the whole race. But uh, Joey, uh, you got a little bit of damage. I'm sitting here behind you. I'm not sure. You might be a pusher. <laughs> I don't know. You've never been much of a pusher, though. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm a good blocker, though. <laughs> That's true. We got. Hey, we got a little ways to go. We got about 24 spots. I think we could do it. I mean, we got to do something here. Well, Corey, yeah, nothing you, to lose. You ran really good here last year, came up just a little bit short. So uh, what, what's the strategy here to try to find your way back to the front? Are, are you going to be able to pass them? I mean, I've seen everybody single file so much. Well, there's been a, a new layer to the fold, Jeff, where apparently there's no out of bounds. So guys are going this way, that way, through the grass, under the all line. So. Uh, Straight up your front bumper. Definitely look for that to be a play. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is the year yeah. I should have come back, Mike. There you go. Because those are the rules that I used to win some of these races under. <laughs> All right, good luck, fellas. Yeah, Cole Custer's looked like he had a lawnmower sponsor. He was so low, uh, <laughs> passing cars down on the bottom. I know. I didn't oh. know you can do that. He did it to me twice. I was like, "Oh, is this okay?" I, I wish I knew that rule. Coming. That's to why 10. you watched the drivers' meeting video. Coming to ten yeah. to go, boys. <laughs> Tighten up those belts. All right, 52 laps. James Davison has been out in front for all of them except during pit stops. There goes the pace car off the banking. Driver from Melbourne, Australia, third generation racer, background in Formula Ford, Champ Car, Star Mazda, Grand Am, IndyCar, the Xfinity Series, and now has 21 NASCAR Cup Series starts, not counting iRacing. Here we go. Oh, good jump. And he's got Garrett Smithley tied to his rear bumper to help push him. Uh-oh, Kyle Busch getting left out in that outside lane by himself with no help. Don't turn up his in-car radio. <laughs> I don't know, Mike. We've seen uh, James Davison dominate this race. I got to believe they're all just sitting there waiting to pounce for that right moment. When is it going to happen? We're going to see this play out on Sunday in the real Talladega too. So let's see uh, if we can can see some of that action when they make their move. How how patient can they be on that last lap if that's when they do it? You know, I'll, oh no! What are you doing? Big crash oh, up yeah, in clear. the air! Oh no! Keep wide open. Oh no, the caution just came out. I was going to say leave it wide open, Boyer. But now maybe we'll get Boyer back on the run. lead lap. Nope, Joey Gase, I think got ahead of you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, what do I do? I need Boy, help. Boyer's about to quit on us over here, Mike. What happened? I, I don't even know how it, where he is. Ahead of you, Casey. <laughs> where are you at? All right, we're I under caution know. with nine to go, and wondering why. Why does it take three minutes to tow me to the garage? Well, this is why we oh, have replays. That's called big, big damage. How do I fix that? Yeah, Make I, that happen quicker. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you can get that any quicker. No, I, no, no. I was in this situation. Oh, oh, no. right. <laughs> all right, all's well in the world, boys. There's a new development. Oh, oh, oh. Somehow okay. Joey Gase was the Oh, lucky oh man. man. I bet crashed a ton right there. Did, what, Joey, that was almost as big as mine. Might have been bigger than mine last year. I know. I thought I was going to make it through there. Everything but the fence. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to the Geico 70 iRacing Invitational from Virtual Talladega. That's uh, Jesse Iwuji, our uh, fan vote winner, currently 23rd. 35 cars on the lead lap, so uh, Jesse looks like you got them right where you want them. <laughs> yeah, we got them right where we want them. It was, uh, it was crazy because uh, a little bit earlier we made our way up front, but then all of a sudden I got hung out to dry, and then I fell back, and then people got crazy aggressive and put me in the wall, so I had to use my last fast repair but i got my naval academy brethren here right behind me supporting me all the midshipmen is so cool it's just really cool to see the support we're getting from the military yeah jesse every weekend there's incredible military support that comes to nascar races and vice versa so you know i i believe that uh, you know nascar and the military just go hand in hand so it's so cool to see this setup and and bring it all together 
Yeah, I know it's pretty awesome. Great support by the Naval Academy, great support by just all the service members and veterans out there. And, you know, we're moving into Military Appreciation Month, the month of May. So Memorial Day will be coming up. It'll be a time for all of us to honor our fallen, those who have paid that ultimate sacrifice to make sure that we have the freedoms to do things like this. So big thanks to all our military members out there. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank and you. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, good luck. Getting ready Thank to you. restart. Be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be five to go. Oh boy! <laughs> on this restart. And we finally got Clint Boyer back on the lead lap. We're not yes. sure how, but he's there. Thirty-fifth. I got it, but because Joey Gates was in the wreck, so I ah, got okay. it by default. There you go. <laughs> but look, look, so Danny Hamlin, I says I can't shoot. Look, look at this. See right here, it says don't pass the 11. Stay behind the 11 car. He is lagging back, and he's going to try to catch him and be at max speed when the green flag drops. Well, stay on his rear bumper. Him. That's stay exactly with him. right. I'm going to do it. I mean, oh, he'll be black flag. Oh, Please they control. just said he'll black flag him. Well, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Joey one lap down as the result of his wreck. I'm still going to race him. With the heck to go. It. Go, you bet. I'm going. Jake. I don't even know who else is a lap down. Keelan right in front of me, I guess. Bringing them down a little slower this time. They're stacking up. Whoa. Big Watch out for that Kozlowski. outside lane, guys. Inside lane's moving. McDowell. Oh, Garrett Smithley got left. Yeah, McDowell jumps out of line, does a nice job jumping down in front of Tom, uh, Timmy Hillman inside lane. Well, that'll shake things up. Hey, what Haley's doing a nice job moving forward up into the third spot. Oh, oh, he, just Whoa. as soon as I mentioned his name, he's going around. Big crash. Bubba Wallace involved. See, on yeah, actually not. Oh, there's there's more cars. Well, there's everybody involved. Joey, stay out of it. I, I can't. I can't see. I I, I made it. No, Boyer, really how about a lucky dog? Probably not. Oh, uh, caution's out. Boyer, no. how, how about you? you if, Denny Hamlin. Briscoe involved. made it. He's the lucky dog. And Jeff, in the court of public opinion on social media, you will be the cause of that wreck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, I do. I feel bad as soon as I mention it. It's like one of Larry McReynolds' trends. Yes, <laughs> that's right. As soon as you mentioned Justin Haley, around he went. See McDowell give Garrett Smithley a big push. He gives a 20. Boy, I tell you what. That wasn't William much. just barely touched him. Oh, man. Then here they come. Obviously very sensitive when you're bump drafting. All right. Close your eyes. We'll ride with Matt D. Ouch. Oh. Welcome back to Virtual Talladega, getting ready for the final restart. You see some of the rash on some of these cars <laughs> as they make them look realistic with like late race damage, including this. Justin Haley, after a little contact from William Byron, goes around, and half the field is in it. With a lot of damage. See Michael McDowell getting pretty lucky there. P.J. McLeod up in and the air and down to the bottom. Didn't and like through it. the smoke comes that green and white 62 of Keelan Harvick. Yes. yes. Good job, Made Keelan. It. All right, getting ready for the final restart. How do we know it's the final restart? Because we said so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Denny at? Denny was in that wreck. Oh, so he is so he's one back lap at 35th. Down. Yeah, he's lap down now. Say, they, they, he's one just... spot ahead of, or no, excuse me, he's on the lead lap. Oh, it is lead lap yeah. now? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. He is. Joey's in the lucky dog position, one lap down. Yeah, we got 35 drivers. I'm not going to get it either. Steel. I don't think so. If there's not going to be another caution, there's no chance of lucky Probably dog. Probably not. So just close your eyes if they wreck, hope <laughs> for the best, and you could win still. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to keep going. What the heck? That's right. Now let's right, see how well. they bring him down to the green this time because that last one, James Davison, boy, he was playing some games and stacked up a lot of cars on that inside lane. Yeah, a lot of drivers were complaining about that restart. Never seen <laughs> Joey do that before. <laughs> Complain? No. Stack up a restart. Oh, come on now. Come on now. 
Here we Come go. Come on. Come on. I won't stack it up this time, I promise, on this the last is car. My chance. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, they'll take the green with two to go. 35 cars on the lead lap. Davison Kozlowski, Byron Smith lead the front two rows. Oh, he brought him down with a lot more speed that time. Actually spread him out a bit. Somebody's wrecking. Yeah, I see that a little bit. I think they're okay. They didn't crash. Yeah, I think that was maybe uh, Suarez. Oh, things are getting heated up front, guys. They're side by side for the lead. Keselowski making a run at this. Brad He's got Keselowski the inside. With Joey Logano denied at Daytona, trying for a win here at Virtual Talladega. And then William Byron on the rear bumper of James Davison, giving him a big push. There's nobody. Oh, though, there goes William to the outside, going to make it three wide. It's going to really help out that inside lane. Byron has not led today. It's the first iRacing event on Fox that he has not led at least a lap. They don't count out Christopher Bell here in second place in the 20. So what, what's going to happen? Okay, we're, we're you know two to go. Now come to, to one to go. So that was the white flag. Watch these guys try to back the to the back up to the car behind them and get a big run for this lead. Can somebody? Stack them up, use that bumper and, and all that air to pack up behind them to get a run on our leader, Brad Keselowski. Too early, I think, to do it down the back straightaway. I think you got to wait till maybe the exit of turn four. One thing Keselowski doesn't want to see on his back bumper, that's Michael McDowell. <laughs> he has been incredibly aggressive. Well, he's on the rear bumper of Christopher Bell. Can he give him a no? Oh, they're spinning off a of turn four, but yep. this is going to decide it. I don't. Oh, now they've broken up. Kyle Busch to the outside. I don't think there's any chance anybody's getting Kozlowski. But that start finish oh. line is further down, and McDowell gets turned and crashed into the outside wall. Here they come to the line. Brad Keselowski oh, for the win. Oh, <laughs> that's that's a post win. Turned that car into the wall, and Brad Keselowski gets his first iRacing victory. Well, I, I, you know, he led the most laps here. A year ago, he's great on these racetracks. He, he's a guy that really doesn't do a lot of iRacing, so uh, great job. Joey, your, t your teammate Keselowski wins this thing. How did he do that? I, I have no idea. I mean, I have some ideas in my mind, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, he's a good speedway racer. He's shown that plenty of times, and uh, hey, that's pretty cool. I'm glad he got one this Sunday. If there's one guy out there in the field, I think maybe had less laps on the on a rig and, and made laps than you guys. It's <laughs> probably you're probably right. You're probably right. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe this thing is realistic. He's able to uh, go fast even uh, in the iRacing deal. So Joey's first finish, his first car, one lap down. And uh, let's congratulate our winner. Congratulations, Brad. iRacing will make a $5,000 donation to the your charity of choice. Congratulations on the win. How'd you do it? Hey, thanks, Mike Joy. Appreciate you. Um... Yeah, that's great. I hope my wife's watching uh, because I'll do it to my Checker Flag Foundation. That'd be really cool. But uh, no, I really like this rules package they have. It's got kind of the bubble push and uh, you can really kind of control your own destiny and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of fun, Mike. And I got to thank TJ Majors. He hooked this thing up like 30 minutes ago. I haven't ran it in a year. And uh, dude, that was awesome. Brad, that's what we were just talking about here in the studio about how you probably made less laps than, than anybody else in the field. We know well, you and I have talked in the past about, you know, iRace is just not really the, uh, something that you do a lot of these days. But uh, man, I would have never known it with the performance you just put on. You just steadily worked your way to the front. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, it was just that trying to be in position, try not to get wrecked, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I got a little lucky on a couple of them, but then make the move on the late race restart, James Davison. Uh, I could tell he's done this a lot. He uh, knew where to launch and all that kind of stuff. And each restart, I was just trying to learn something from him and uh, be smart, you know? Yeah, I mean, you were the first one the whole race, right? He's dominated this thing. You were the first one that was able to actually get alongside him and then got a good push from that inside lane to take the lead. Yeah, William Byron was uh, 
perfect there. He gave me that push down the back stretch, and it was just enough to clear him. Uh, so thanks to him. But yeah, that it was all about trying to get the right move on the restart, and the green flag pit stop was really important too. So pretty cool, man. Well, congratulations. Great win, and we'll see you next time around at Darlington. Yeah, great job. Here is Sounds good. And uh, this weekend. Yes. Well, yes, of course, this weekend <laughs> at the real Talladega. You bet. Good luck there. There is Brad Thanks, Kozlowski holding off Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch third, Timmy Hill fourth. Last year's winner, Alex Bowman fifth. User was moved to your channel. Right. Then McDowell, <laughs> Earnhardt, Davison eighth, Custer ninth, Austin Dillon in the top ten, and Clint Boyer. Top 20. I'm great. Really? What a great recovery. Congratulations. And uh, Keelan, how was, tell us about your drive. Uh, you, you did a great job out there. Got knocked around a little bit, but uh, you had a good drive. Congratulations. How was it racing your dad? Oh man, we're the, the one one guy we want to oh, hear from. Sure. He's the only interview we want. <laughs> <laughs> Technical uh, issues. Sorry, uh, Keelan, we can't. Can try us again? Okay. Oh, there we go. Here, here, here we go. go. Now we got it. So Can how, you hear us? How was it racing, Dad? That's not how I wanted it to turn out, though. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to beat him, right? Yeah, I tell you what, you was rubbing elbows yes, with the big boys. You did a good job. You did a great of job of uh, staying out of that big crash there on the back straightaway. I saw how excited you were for that. Yeah, I thought I was going to get involved in that a little. Hey, Keelan, is it true that you may or may not have allegedly got that cast made specifically so you could hold on to a steering wheel? That's yes, pretty sir. cool. That, that is a race show, car. Show, show right us there. your cast there. You, you want to just show that off. So, yep, you can see how it's set just so that he can. There you go. Oh, yeah, I got the yeah, little steering little, wheel intention in there. there. right there. Oh. Wheel dad, man. Dad didn't cut that out, did he, to make sure it fits? <laughs> That's that might, cool. My dad once I had an arm like that and he and he got a zizz wheel to my cast so I didn't oh, grab the wheel. That wasn't hey, smart. I was you hoping your dad didn't do that. Out of a school, but I think you deserve an ice cream cone, buddy. All right. All right, thank you. All right, so Keelan, tell your dad, my son and I race BMWs against each other, real cars. He's uh, He just turned 21. So when your dad's my age, you'll be kicking his butt like Scott does mine every time on the racetrack. You're going to get plenty of chances to race your dad for real. And we can't Thanks for wait joining to see us. that. Yeah, thank you. Great job. <laughs> So I racing Talladega and Brad Keselowski uh, gets the win. James Davison, you got a feel for him. He led most of the race. Yeah, but Mike, I, I don't know. Is this a precursor to what we're going to see on Sunday at the real Talladega? Because Brad Keselowski is going to be one of the cars and drivers to beat. And he showed it right here tonight in iRacing. Hey, I agree, and I, I think I'm going to stay after late. I'm going to stay logged on to iRacing. I'm going to practice a little bit so I can come back with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, you looked a little frustrated, Boyer. <laughs> Jeff, I'm not very good at this. I got to get better, and it comes with practice. But by the way, let's get on tonight. Let's have some fun on iRacing. Cool. I'm hoping this is nothing like Sunday because it did not go well for me. Things were going decent, then I got in a crash. A three-minute toe job. I mean, <laughs> AAA could have been better than that. So I need to get the, the toe figured out a little bit better, and uh, – uh, you know, um, I, I'm just happy being a real race car Sunday. <laughs> yeah, and it's almost like virtual Talladega. It's a lot like the real Talladega. James Davison leads 61 laps, but he didn't lead the right lap and was a sitting duck there at the end, ended up finishing eighth. Thanks, Larry. Well, at Talladega, Saturday coverage starts with the ARCA race at 1 o'clock on FS1, then Xfinity racing on Fox at 3.30 Eastern. This Sunday, the Geico 500 at Talladega. Coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern on FS1, continuing on Fox at 1.30 Eastern time. Our next iRace, May 5th from Darlington. Coming up next, the premier showing of House of Athlete Going Pro, Brandon Marshall helps prospects prepare for the draft in the NFL.